This one is about factors that cause ulcers. Factors like, for example, studying GMAT sentence correction. We'll see what we can do about this. So first of all, there's a very subtle grammatical point being tested here. When we have two words that set up a parallel structure, here we have not blank, but blank. And these are some other structures that also follow this pattern. Any words that appear before the not apply equally to both terms. So caused, not by blank, but by blank, cause would apply to everything. Any word that appears after the not, if it's a common word, it has to be repeated. So first of all, the word are definitely appears. That appears before the underlined section. So are appears before. And so the word are should not be repeated. So right away, a few of these are out. Second of all, the word caused. Well, if we put the word caused after the not, then we also have to put it after the but but it doesn't appear after the but over here. So any, any of these choices that put the cause after the but are incorrect. Here we put the cause in front of the not, so it applies equally to both. In all three of these, we put the by after the not, so we put a by here, so we need a by here as well. And indeed, that's what we have here. We're missing a by here. And right away, notice, that we boiled everything down to answer choice C. Another subtle thing which I'll point out, there's also this difference between or and and. What's the difference between saying not X, Y, or Z, or saying not X, Y, and Z? Well, technically, if I say not X, Y, or Z, what I'm saying is those three they're not allowed individually, and they're not allowed in any combination. So just by that one statement, I am forbidding X, Y, Z, X, Y, X, Z, Y, Z, and X, Y, Z. All of those combinations are forbidden just by saying not X, Y, or Z. Now, by contrast, if I say not X, Y, and Z, the only thing I'm forbidding is the combination of all three of them. So any one of them would still be allowed. Any combination of two of them would still be allowed. The only thing that is not allowed is the combination of all three. Well, here in context, when we're talking about what causes ulcer, the popular understanding or the traditional understanding was not that you needed simultaneously stress and alcohol and rich foods together to cause an ulcer, and that if you just had two of them and not the third, it wouldn't lead to an ulcer. That's not the understanding. The understanding is that any one of those could lead to an ulcer, and of course a combination would only exacerbate that. So the or is what we want here, and the and is wrong, and that is also consistent with C. So C is by far the best answer choice here.